Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And first off, I just want to start off by thanking you guys for the tremendous support we've been getting lately. Our channel has been getting triple the views, quadruple the views, more interaction. Our Twitter's been going really well. Everyone's so much interaction. Our Twitch has been growing tremendously. I want to thank you guys first off. You know, we're starting to finally make some connections with the community, and people are starting to like. So, for instance, one guy, uh, Doghouse Gaming. If you guys have ever heard of him, go check out his channel. Awesome guy. He hit me up on Twitter the other night and was like, I really enjoy your content. I found your channel. I'm going to go shout you out of my channel. And I was like, okay, what do you want from me? He was like, nothing. I just really like your content. I see your grind. And I was like, you know what? Makes me happy to hear that because, you know, I'm just starting out about a month and a half in. And I have a good amount of relevant people in the community talking to me, hitting me up, and letting me know how they like my channel. So, you know, it means a lot to know that my channel is already feeling a little bit legit in the first uh, month or so. Also, our graphics have been done. So if you haven't seen my new logo, check that out. And the new banner should be up today, hopefully. And one last thing before I, you know, get into this video. Sorry for the long intro. But um, if you guys haven't already, go drop that sub, you know. I've been saying this a few times. I don't want to get into this and get too much into it. But, you know, if you guys all right now, watching this video right now, went down and clicked this sub, your one little sub that you guys might not be, you might not be wanting to drop right now, like your one little sub can make such a big difference for me as a content creator. See, I'm at 266 subs right now. If you, everyone you guys, there's two, 300 guys that watch this video or any of my videos, Right now, just drop the sub button. I could very simply be over 500 to 1,000 in literally one day. I can go up 250 subs, like that fast, if you guys just all clicked it. But I understand you guys that are going to get a liking to me, so hopefully you guys keep checking my channel out over the next few months, and you're not going to drop the sub now. Go drop when you feel ready, but I appreciate you guys listening to me. Let me get into the video. For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 15% off. Okay, so today's time filter is not exactly how to get the most coins. So that's still the ultimate legend, but this is the one how to invest for the most coins. So if it isn't obvious enough already where I'm heading to, it's going to be the NFL Combine. So if you guys think this logically, which I've been thinking about, I'm thinking there has to be something. There's the, the scouts is a currency. There should be a blitz promo. The scouts will be relevant. So I'm thinking a new twist on this today would be to snipe for the Combine players because as you see, these players have been fluctuating. These cards right here. We're going for about, let's see how much they're going for right now. These 86s, we're going for about 11K yesterday. They're back up. So if you had, if you had, I didn't sell mine. It's a good thing I didn't because I could sell them today. So my opinion is that you want to start sniping scouts now and making coins now and then even holding, and then the money you, you make with that, put that on the side in scouts and wait for a blitz or get some nat players. Those nat players are tremendous value, first off. Snipe scouts. If you could snipe, let's see. Uh, for 16,000 scouts, you're going to need, like, something around here. You're going to need a full one, just about. So, if you go snipe one of these guys, like this, Tommy Bohan, if you can get one for about 440, you can get two of these cards for 440k. Nah. It's so like, yesterday, I got Odell, if you didn't see in the beginning, and I got Vernon Davis. Vernon Davis is one of my all-time favorite tight ends in Madden history. He has been with me since Madden 13. I have never had a tight end that I have used or abused more in a Madden game before. So I'm excited to finally have a Vernon Davis back in this game. If I have a good one to use. Now, what I recommend is snipe one of these, like I said, and you, do the Nats. If you, if you have the coins, do the Nats. It's way worth it if you think about it. Because at the end of the day, you're getting two cards that powered up will have a 99 overall for 240k just about a piece, which is ridiculous. That's a steal. Like Odell Beckham Jr. is easily going to be. One of the best wide receivers in this game, if not more. Like, like if that's even possible. Like, I love Odell. He might not be the tallest, but he does a lot of things that not many people know about. Like, he might be small, but he, can, he has the spin threshold, the jukes threshold. He's going to be one of the fastest guys in the game. I wish I can compare him with all my power. But look at that. Those stats are almost all 99s. Add all my John Madden, my Go Deep, my Sprinter, everything 99s. 99 across the board. So, highly recommend you go along and go try that. I mean, if you get... And the, thing, the good thing about this set specifically is that any of these cards that you can get will be very usable. They're all athletes. Tommy Bohannon will be the best fullback in the game. Vernon Davis, I love a tight end. Mariota actually might be better than Vic. Dustin Hopkins will be a 90... This is a kicker, but he has speed. You could do fake kicks with him and still the best kicker in the game, probably. But I'm going to stop. I'll, I'll save that for another time, going into why I believe this set is so profitable. Not profitable. So useful. Now, going on. Um, these cards, like I said, you want them for about 440, 450. Very good. You get about 32,000 scouts, give or take, and you save that for a blitz promo and you know how a blitz promo is. You can easily turn that from 32,000 scouts into a million coins, two million coins. 
into 100,000 scouts, resell that, million point five coin, K coins. Like I always have as an example, and if you guys don't believe me, I will give you video evidence. I made easily about 10 million coins during the Christmas promo, easily. My team was worth 5 million coins, and I had about 6 million coins. I don't know what I, I bat, had about a million prior to that promo, so I'm cutting it around 10 mils total is what I had. But that was a crazy promo. If you use and abuse the Blitz properly, it is the best promo in the game. So now, I can't just stay there, obviously, because not everyone can afford that. So if you want to snipe out here, you want these 92s for about... I was seeing... They, uh, they went up. That's the issue, right? I don't know if they're worth it. These cards yesterday were 75k. 75k. See, like, they're going up. So what you want to do is, you want to wait for another wave to drop, and then try to snipe those out. You don't want to snipe them out now. You can I mean, you could try, but the most best way to do it, the, the most efficient way to do it would be wait for the new ones to drop, and then go over... And when they drop that morning, you sit there. And when they're getting pulled out of packs rapidly, you buy them for about 75, 80k, 75, 80k, and you resell later that day for 105. Look, he's he's gonna keep going up. So highly recommend that's what you guys do as far as sniping these cards right here. Now, if you were gonna snipe them at this price that they're currently at, I'd recommend about 85k, just so that you can at least make some money off it if you need to get rid of them, and you can get some scouts. But if you're gonna wait, you can get these brand new probably 75k to 80k. Right off the block, you sit there, and it's very hot. Like, at the beginning is when you'll find, you might see 10 snipes. You might only get one or two, but you'll see 10. At this rate, you'll probably only see one every, like, 20 minutes, and you might not even get it. So, this one's more of a grind. The other one's more of a uh, a given, I guess you could call it, like, in terms of it happening. Now, if you go down a little lower, for people with the lost coins, these are 90k, too. So, definitely don't even touch these, unless you're doing the set. I don't even think you might even, actually, I think 92s apply. Stick to the 92, it's not even close. And when the training adjustment happens, these 92s are definitely going to be way, way more worth it than these 90s. Do not touch these 90s. They're way too overpriced. 91s, stick to the 92s. The 92s are a great value right now. Now, the 88s. 88s are actually a decent price. They probably should. No, 88, this is a, this is a decent price for 88s. If you're going to snipe these out, if you really want to, get them for about 15k. Just sit here. Oh, let me give you a filter for this one, so... Let's see, let's see if I can try cap value. It always depends, so. This one seems, yeah, so 41 to 50 cap value is pretty good. It should make the bar just big enough so that, right? Yeah, just big enough so that you can see every card that comes out. Except, I mean, you'll miss a few, but you'll get the, you have a lot of cards in here, so. 40, 41 to 50 cap, and then just keep refreshing using team at any, or all. This is a really good one. If you're going to sign, but I said 15, 16K, guarantees a profit back if you don't want them. Get you some scouts, but again, I hate doing scouts at this low range, but some people have to do it. Now, there is a range lower, but at this rate, you're just you're just asking to not make the efficient amount of scouts. But if you're just doing a blitz, you need the quick coins. Not bad, but getting enough coins off of this, enough scouts off of this, will take you so much more coins than it would be to just buy a top player. So if you don't have the coins, I get it, but oh, Forest. It's a cool name. Forest Lamp. Well, and also, I hope you guys' theme teams are coming out good on top of this, because these are a lot of theme team players, like, all over the place. Like, theme teams are definitely going to be very, very prominent going to these final stages of Madden. I might be building a Giants theme team. I think that's what I'm working towards. So, you know, I got my Odell. I got my Lawrence Taylor and whatnot. But that's all I got so far. And Saquon. So, you know, I got to work on that. But that's about it for this video, guys. You know, I'm not going to drag this out any longer than it has to be. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my content. Like I said in the beginning, go over it, drop the like, drop the comment, and please sub. It means a lot to me. Go check out my last few videos. They've been really good. A lot of support. I'm out. See you guys later.